Hey you, yeah you, get higher on Android every day. Hi folks, I'm so high on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, many of you probably heard there's a new root method out for the S6 and that success it's called the ping pong root method. Now this method is great because you'll be able to root your AT&T and Verizon Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge and also it will root uh, many other S6 and S6 Edge. Now this is a great method, it also does not trip Nox. It's actually really simple to do, um, no computer required. Let me go ahead and demonstrate, let's go do this baby. All right guys, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, first thing you wanna do is go into your settings and find out uh, which is the build number you have. All right, I'll be using a T-Mobile Galaxy S6 or uh, S6 Edge, sorry, but you can go ahead and use any S6 or S6 Edge. Make sure it's supported. You can do that by noting the build number here. You can see it's a G925TUVU1AOCG. All right, make a note of that. You can write it down. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the ping pong root site. Just go ahead and type ping pong root on Google and you should be able to find the uh, XDA thread. I'll have a link, direct link to this also if you want to. Just go here, all right, and if you go see uh, supported devices, uh, you will see the S6 with the following ROM versions. Uh, if you have an S6, go ahead and check it. Make sure um, your build number is listed here. If it's not listed, um, you know, it may not work. And also as success, you can go ahead and check it here. You can see that my version G925TUVU1AOCG is supported. Also for AT&T G925A, UCE, 1A, OCE. Uh, for Verizon, you'll see 925V, VRU, 1A, OC3. Now for T-Mobile, I actually ended up in a boot loop while using the, um, the latest OE6, the G925T, that's uh, Android 5.1.1. So just be aware this method could soft brick you where you have to uh, erase everything. So make a backup ev of everything before uh, hand because all these root methods, sometimes they can break, all right? Um, so don't use it. If you have a T-Mobile on 5.1.1, I've tried it, it ends you up in a soft boot loop. Um, so don't try it. Um, there should be a new root method. But for everyone else, for 5.0.2, you should be safe uh, for Lollipop. Just 5.1.1, I think there's there's like a new root uh, thing. But you, know, you can go ahead and try it. Just make a backup of everything before you uh, do this. So I have the supported model, so I, I'm good to go. And we're going to simply go ahead and go browse all the way down to here. Uh, attach files here. Go ahead and download the latest beta version. So I'm going to go ahead and the beta 6. Now by the time you see this video, they may be beta 11, beta 20. Uh, I'm not sure. But um, go ahead and hit OK if it asks you. Um, it's okay to install. All right, and once this is installed, we're gonna go ahead and simply open the file, and it's gonna pretty much uh, root our device, install SuperSU, and we should be all good to go. And this also does not trip Nox. All right, uh, if it if you're using Lookout, actually just use Package Installer. Don't use Lookout. It's kind of actually turn off, <laughs> disabled Lookout. Um, all right, if it asks you to unknown source, make sure you hit unknown sources here. Hit OK. Hit install. All right, this will install the actual ping pong root app. And go ahead and open. All right, uh, it's going to try to open again. Try to open with a package installer. It's going to try to install SuperSU. Go to settings again. Hit unknown sources. Hit OK. Install. All right, hit open. You'll see um, there's no binary installed. Um, hit get root. All right, if you get a message that it's not supported, then hit download data and then hit get root. All right, that will also work. Um, but uh, you'll get this eventually. Please wait, wait. And it says root done. Go ahead and simply reboot your device. But you can see I booted up. If you see um, that your phone has booted up, you're good to go. Now this root method does not erase anything if it does work. All right, and once it's rebooted, we're gonna go ahead and load up SuperSU. And if you don't get any error messages, boom chakalaka. You've got a uh, full root. Now you can go ahead and verify you have full root. Uh, simply go here. All right, go ahead and install. And 
we'll open it. And this is a great root method since it does not um, disable, or, sorry, it, is, this is a great method. So, oh, there we go. Boom shakalaka. Super user request. Grant. This is a great root method since uh, it does not trip Nox. So for those of you who don't need a custom ROM, you can go ahead and re use this root method. But if you're going to go ahead and install uh, custom ROMs, I do recommend the twerp method because that also installs twerp recovery and you can back up your current recovery before trying to uh, root it. That will be a little bit safer just in case you end up in a boot loop, which I found only with the latest S6 Edge series. Um, I don't know why. I was trying to figure that out. But there we go. So you should have full roots and we should be all good to go. And make sure you turn off um, Lookout because it's really annoying. And that's how you root your S6 or S6 Edge. Now this method should be extended to Note 4 eventually because it's based on the Lollipop uh, exploit. It's a good thing that developer is not um, making the exploit public. That way we can keep rooting our phones. But this is a sure proven way. And once it's installed, you can go ahead and uninstall Ping Pong Root. All right? And you should have full root now. And you're pretty much... Uh, good to go. Enjoy your route. If you need to install Tour Recovery uh, or Clockmore Recovery, simply download the IMG file, install it with Flashify. If you don't know how to do this, I have full instructions over at my site, galaxys6roots.highonandroid.com. Check the uh, clock CWM Tour Recovery page. And that's pretty much it. Have a great time. Um, you can go ahead and route your AT&T Verizon S6 especially. Uh, this is a great day for uh, everybody. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to donate to the guys who actually developed this uh, over at XDA, Ping Pong Root Developers. All right, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Now you should be able to root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge on AT&T and Verizon. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. If you want more videos like this, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Stay bye on Android every day.